Hey, hey uh, guys, doing some exciting new, late breaking news uh, from Apple. They are going to um, next year make a new Mac Pro modular um, like they did when they made the, uh, the cheese grater Mac Pro. And so uh, let me read some of the news that uh, I found on this. Uh, like I said, I was going through the tech news this morning. Uh, with regards to the Mac Pro, we are in the process of what we call completely rethinking the Mac Pro. We're working on it. We have a team working on it right now, and we want to architect it so we can keep it fresh with regular improvements. And we're committing to making the highest and throughput desktop systems designed for our demanding customers. Now, they realize that the um, 2013 Mac Pro, uh, the current one now, doesn't fit everybody's needs. Works completely fine for myself. Of course, everybody has different needs. And they're also coming back with a, a new Apple Cinema display. Now, they supposedly killed it off not too long ago as well. I could say for everyday use, maybe that's why they want, you know, want to do it. But obviously, if they're coming out for the Pro community uh, with the new um, modular Mac Pro, then I could see them bringing it back and gearing it toward those users. Um, of course, if... Uh, with their laptops and iMacs, you don't, they're pretty much incorporated into the computer itself anyway. Um, another reason why they're uh, doing this as well uh, had to do with the GPUs. Supposedly there were some GPUs that were overheating uh, and a uh, lot got returned. Now, a lot of that, a lot of questioning to that because um, obviously Apple doesn't make any response usually to that very often. A lot of manufacturers don't. Um, it has to do with the GPU. I think we designed ourselves into a bit of a thermal corner, if you will. We designed a system we thought with the kind of GPU at the time that we needed or thought we needed. And it, was ser uh, and it would be served best with a uh, dual GPU architecture. And that was the kind of thermal limit we needed. Well... I think since they were uh, making it smaller and redesigning it in that type of uh, case use, they thought a two GPU system would work out better. Now, I love the dual GPU design uh, of the new Mac Pro because it works for me, obviously not everybody. So I guess there were some thermal constraints and it's actually downclocked a little bit, but considering uh, as long as the software is able to use G uh, dual GPUs, um, I don't find that a problem at all. Now, not every bit of software, like I said, can use dual GPUs. It's bound to a single GPU. Of course, you're still going to still find um, uh, more than likely a dual GPU system is still going to be better because you can still run one GPU just for the display and you have the other GPU for everything else. And that takes the load off the other GPU. Um, obviously, if you just have one GPU, it's going to have to do both, uh, multiple monitors and computations for video editing or other software that now use um, the power of the GPU. So that's uh, another reason why I guess they're doing this. Um, and so my own thoughts, of course, I think this is great news. I uh, kind of hope they still, uh, you know, continue on with the current Mac Pro as well and have both, but more than likely they're going to uh, kill off the, uh, the older version. Um, which I'm um, perfectly fine with for my own use. Uh, of course, there was a lot of sem uh, uh, semantics with this when the new Mac Pro came out and the people are saying, well, they're going to kill it off. That's the reason why they made a brand new uh, change in the uh, Mac Pro design, which is really semantics because you, they're simply not going to spend the money to make a new system and design that software around it only to kill it off. Um, take a look, example, with the XServe. Uh, they didn't uh, redesign the XServe just to kill it off. They just did it, you know, really quick. And, of course, that's going to save money if you just uh, kill it quick instead of trying to redesign it and say, oh, it didn't work and then kill it. No, obviously, that's semantics at the uh, highest order. So uh, another thing, too, is uh, I believe in improving software just as much as new hardware. Um, because a lot of I see a lot of people they're like, oh, we need these the newest GPU CPUs and all that, which is fine, but just throwing the same or just throwing new hardware at the same old software 
without so software improvements and really not the greatest way to do this. I, I believe in gearing software toward the hardware and I've seen this time and time again with the uh, Wirecast. Continual improvements um, now can use the GPU um, with just NVIDIA. It doesn't seem to work with AMD currently. But now the GPU can accelerate a lot of the functions. And I said, and I've probably seen about a 500% uh, increase in performance with Wirecast just improving the software using my quite old uh, 8 core Mac Pro. And that just goes to show you that you also need to improve software as well. And of course, looking at the uh, newly redesigned uh, uh, Final Cut Pro 10, same thing. You uh, gear that software, specialize it to the hardware. It's simply just going to run better and faster, uh, even using the same hardware. Now, obviously, there do, does need to be uh, continual improvement in hard, hardware as well. Um, and in fact, even with the new modular system, uh, have a way for people to upgrade their systems as needed. It's, it's a great um, news for uh, pros like that. So give me your thoughts uh, on the uh, Apple coming out with the new modular Mac Pro coming out next year. Uh, of course, we do have current spec bumps. And also, give me your thoughts on the new Apple Cinema display, which also is going to be coming out as well. Oops, and I gotta get the stop button here.